Hello YouTube. Alright, in the last video you saw that uh, this power supply was fuckered. And I figured I'd show you how to check voltages. And the, vol the power supply we were going to be testing for voltages on is this Diablotech power supply that I ended up putting in the studio computer over here. So, let's boot this thing up and we'll check the voltages. Now what you do is you go into your BIOS, whether you have to tap delete or F2 or F1 or F12, whatever button it is in your BIOS that lets you get to the setup. This is on a gigabyte board, which is, so it's the delete key. And here you get a typical Phoenix BIOS. Now you want to look for something along the lines of PC health or health status or, you know, Sometimes it's even in power management, but that's in just really weird BIOSes. But look for something along the lines of PC health. And go over to that. And your voltages are all right there. As you can see, the 3.3 volts at 3.344, which is really well in spec for uh, this thing. Go away, monitor. So, and when I was testing it on the, um, the FSP group power supply from the dirt top, this voltage here was fluctuating and climbing slowly, which indicated that a filter cap was going bad. So, yeah. The main ones you want to look at are the 3.3 and the 12. The 12 is well in spec. The 3.3 is well in spec. The 3.3 volt, I think, needs to be w well within 4% tolerance. It's either 4 or 10%, but I believe it's 4%. So... You do 4% of 3.3, and that's how much it can fluctuate up or down. Uh, 12 volt, I don't know what the tolerance is, but it's well within well within the specs and close to 12 volts there, so it's good. DDR18 volt. I am not sure what that is for. That could be processor voltage or RAM voltage. I'm really, it's not clear to me as to what that is. V-core, I think, is CPU voltage. I am not totally sure on that one, although it might not be. I don't know too much about V-Core and DDR18V, but 3.3 and 12 volt are the ones that I look at the most, because if one of those is out of whack, then you really have a problem. <laughs> those are the ones that you really want to make sure are in spec. So, yeah, that's how to check your voltages in your BIOS. You can do this with tools in Windows as, and Linux as well. You can use open... One of the best tools I've ever seen is Open Hardware Monitor. Google that and download it. It will tell you a lot about your system. But, yeah, might as well boot this up just to show you how it works. I did, I did end up reinstalling the operating system on here, so it'll look a little different than the last video I did of the studio computer. Come on, hard drive. Think about it. It's thinking about it. Oh, now it's thinking about it. Now it's actually thinking. Rather, Windows XP starting up. And yes, I use Windows XP on the studio computer because it actually is the most productive way of doing things with it that I have. And there you go, it boots up. I'll shut it off here, and we'll end the video. Alright, and that's just how to check your power supply voltages real fast. And also a bit of a follow-up to the, 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 the unboxing of the Diablotech power supply. Uh, the power supply seems to hold stable voltages and doesn't have a problem. I'm using maybe 100 watts of it out of the 320 that's on there, so it should be well within spec for a long time. Hopefully the three years that it's under warranty. And yeah, that's just how to check your voltages and... Uh, Figured I'd show you how to do that just to make life a little bit easier. And, uh, yeah. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.